Wasabi Wallet. Unfairly private. Strike is an application that allows users to send each other value around the globe instantly and nearly for free using the Bitcoin Lightning Network as its payment rails. Now, this has some huge implications for international remittances. So today we're going to take a look at the app, how to set it up and how to use it. I am Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your daily session. Bitcoin. So the Strike app can be used on your Android phone, iPhone, or even with your Google Chrome browser. And the beautiful thing about it is you do not need a bank account to use it. It is truly banking the unbanked, which means that, as I alluded to in the little bumper at the beginning, this has huge implications for international remittances. Often, if you live in a country where it's difficult to get a bank account, that means that if you're receiving money from abroad, Number one, you're going to be hit with massive fees receiving that money. It may involve travel to get to the place where you can pick up your cash. And that travel could be dangerous in that there's a possibility of even getting mugged, picking up your remittances. And an app like this removes literally all of that in an instant with a free app on your phone, which is game changing for a lot of people. Now, it's important to note when you're using this app, um, it is using the Bitcoin network as its payment rails to allow for those cheap instant transfers, cheap and nearly free instant transfers. However, within the app, you're dealing with a local fiat currency, in this case, US dollars. So anytime you're holding value in the app, it's actually in dollars. However, when you receive from somebody sending from a Bitcoin wallet or when you send out of this app to another Bitcoin wallet, it instantly converts between the two with no fee. So it's truly a seamless experience moving from Bitcoin to dollars to Bitcoin, however you're interacting with individuals. So we're going to dive in. We're going to take a look at how to get this thing set up and how to use it. Here we go. Ledin.io boasts a number of awesome Bitcoin services. Of course, they have their Bitcoin backed loans where you can use your Bitcoin as collateral to get Canadian or US dollar loans into your bank account within 24 hours. They have Bitcoin and USDC savings accounts with interest rates of up to 11% annually paid monthly. And they have their B2X offering, which uses Bitcoin backed loans to instantly buy you more Bitcoin. You can check them out in the links down below. And if you click that link and opt to use either of their loan products, they will give you 25 bucks for free into your savings account. If you are backing up any important Bitcoin wallet, you need to get your seed phrase in solid steel on the bill fodl. This helps insulate you against fire damage, water damage, or just accidentally throwing the damn thing out as can commonly happen with a piece of paper if you're not careful. Bill fodl gives you that peace of mind and you can store your seed phrase securely and safely. This is how I back up all of my important Bitcoin wallets. Check them out. Links are down below. If you are buying Bitcoin in Canada and both security and ease of use are top of mind, then you have to check out BitBuy. These guys have been around since 2016. They were the first in Canada to get a full proof of reserves audit. They're also the only company in Canada to offer full one-to-one -one Bitcoin insurance through their partners Knox Custody. These guys have a web interface and a convenient mobile app for both iOS and Android so that you can stack sats on the go. Click the link in the show notes below to check them out. And if you use that link after your first $250 purchase, they will give you 20 bucks for free. The Kobo Vault has gone through a rebrand and is now known as Keystone. It is the same awesome team and the same excellent product with some added improvements. Of course, as always, 
easy sign what you see QR codes via air gapped mode. Of course, they have a secure element and Bitcoin only firmware with interoperability with all my favorite wallets like Electrum, Blue Wallet, Spectre, Sparrow, Wasabi, and the list goes on. This thing is fantastic. And hey, SD card now on the outside. So be sure to check them out. If you're a former Kobo Vault owner, uh, be sure to reach out to them because if you're looking to upgrade, they have some deals in store for you. Whether you're living on Bitcoin like me or just exercising a little high time preference, an excellent place to do it is BitRefill where they have all of the gift cards you could possibly imagine and you can pay with bitcoin either on chain or via the lightning network again i mean it you guys these guys have absolutely everything you could possibly imagine and they're available in just an insane number of countries you really got to see it to believe it head over it check them out uh, also you earn sats back as you shop and they've got a killer referral program links are in the show notes and now back to your regularly scheduled program. So I already have my strike account set up, but I did take screenshots through the setup process just so you can see what to expect when you are initializing this app. And it can vary based on your jurisdiction. So just keep that in mind. I am in Canada here. Um, this is early access to the app. So I can't hook up a bank account or anything like that with it if you are an individual that wants to do that. Uh, but just know that if you're in the US right now, you can do that and you may be able to do that in other jurisdictions in the future. But this is what I saw when I signed up. Really easy. Basically, you, uh, you get started with really basic things, email address, uh, they text you a confirmation code, um, you pick a username, where do you live, um, phone number, what's your name, uh, date of birth, um, just some general ID stuff if you have an ID. And again, this can vary based on jurisdiction. Now, in terms of setting up a bank account with this thing, just so you know, if you're in the US, it is possible to do that right now. And this could be a uh, change for other jurisdictions later. But effectively, um, on one of the tabs uh, on your profile tab, there's something that says payment methods that you click on. At that point, you can then add a bank account or a debit card, and then it will take you to this thing called Plaid, where effectively you can log in with your banking credentials to then link that account with your Strike app. And that's basically it. So it took a few minutes to go through. I think maybe max two, three minutes took me to get through that. Of course, I do not have a bank account linked with it. So I'm kind of seeing this through the eyes of somebody who is perhaps unbanked. So that gives me a little bit of perspective of how you guys may be using the app if you're somewhere like that. Uh, let's dive into the app itself and get set up. All right. So just a quick overview of what you're going to see in the app here. Of course, some of this information will be missing if you were starting fresh with a brand new app here. Uh, but on the main screen here, what you see is down at the bottom, there are three little tabs and those are kind of your main screens that you're going to be dealing with. Uh, this main screen here, the initial one, the home screen will have a balance in dollars or whatever your local currency is up top. Down below here, you will have a list of people that you have interacted with, maybe sent payments to. At the bottom of this page, you'll have a request and a pay button where you can receive or send funds to other individuals. Now, if we hit the middle button, the little clock, this shows any previous transactions, any notes on them, who they were from, if it was from somebody on the Strike app themselves, or if it's just a general payment, then it will show up without any information about the person that sent it. And finally, on the far right at the bottom, this is your profile page where you have an invite code to invite people to the app. You have your deposit and withdrawal. This mostly would pertain to if you have a bank account linked and you want to deposit money from your bank into Strike. So if you're working abroad and sending money home to people using this method, then you would deposit money from your bank account into Strike and then send it to your family member. Uh, and then withdraw exactly the opposite. Withdrawing funds uh, into a bank account would be 
the method that you use here. Now, I won't be utilizing these methods because again, I'm doing this from the perspective of an individual that does not have a bank account hooked up here. And finally, uh, the settings here, you just have your profile, your personal information, any limits that you have pertaining to banks and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we can go back to the home screen and let's start actually receiving money into the Strike app. To receive money into Strike, simply from your home screen, down at the bottom left, you're gonna hit the Request button. Now, there are a few different ways to receive funds into Strike. First off, it brings you to a screen where you can receive funds from another Strike user. Now, you may or may know, not know somebody on strike but if you do it's very simple if you've interacted with them before they will be listed down below if you know the person's username you can then look them up so if i type here i know that my friend brecky is on here and if i start typing in his name i can see him right there and i can say hey um i am doing a tutorial test transaction <laughs> And who knows if he'll actually send this, but uh, he will get a notification as to what I'm requesting. I hit the white arrow up top. And how much am I requesting of him? I'm just gonna uh, say five cents. <laughs> we'll see if he pays it later. But uh, I hit next and it just confirms all the information. Five cents for a tutorial test transaction. And I hit confirm. And that sends a request to his phone, to his Strike app saying, hey, BTC Sessions would like to receive five cents from you. Do you approve? And if he does, I will get a notification that I received that payment. Now let's look at other methods of receiving money. Again, if from the home screen, I hit request. Up in the top right corner, there's a little Bitcoin B and I can hit that and I can give this a label or not. I'm going to leave it blank for now. I'm going to hit the white arrow. And then how much would you like to request? Maybe I'd like to request $1. I hit next. Now at this point, I actually have a few different ways to receive. I can share this code with anybody via any app. Or in the top right hand corner, there's a little QR code square that I can tap on. And this allows me to receive funds uh, via the Lightning Network. And so I can actually copy this, or I can hit share rather, and there's a string of digits here that I can copy. And I can send this information to anybody and they will be able to send me funds. So for instance, I have a Bitcoin wallet here called Moon, which I've done a full tutorial on. If I hit send and I paste in that information that I just copied, it says, okay, great. You want to send this much money to this individual. I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to hit send. And I'm getting a notification right now that I've just received that money. I can see it turns white and that means I've received $1 from somebody's Bitcoin wallet. So again, to reiterate, if I hit request, and I hit the Bitcoin B in the top right, and I can add a note if I like. I choose the amount, and I hit the little QR code in the top right. This gives me a Lightning Network invoice that I can share with anyone via any app that I like, and they can send me money that way. Okay, very, very simple. Um, very easy to receive Bitcoin payments that way. And it gets instant converted. We can see instant converted into dollars the moment it hits my account. I'm not holding Bitcoin here, I'm holding dollars, but I received Bitcoin, which was instant converted into dollars. Now in the first Bitcoin example, I showed you a smaller amount, a dollar. However, you can receive, of course, larger amounts here, and that opens you up to other methods of Bitcoin payment. Let me show you what I mean. 
the Lightning Network is designed specifically, uh, well, not specifically, but it works very well with small payments. So a dollar, a penny, whatever amount you like, uh, it works seamlessly with the Lightning Network. However, for larger amounts, um, that can make sense to use Bitcoin's uh, what's known as a main chain or on-chain Bitcoin transaction, not utilizing the Lightning Network. So if I hit request here and I go to the Bitcoin B again and I type a larger amount, let's say $50. If I hit next and again I go to the QR code in the top right, I now have the option to swipe over to the right and there is a Bitcoin QR code. I can copy that information just like I did before and I can navigate over to Moon Wallet and I can hit send and this is an address that gets copied to the clipboard and it auto fills the amount. And again, I'll just put a little note here, strike, confirm note and I'm sending a regular main chain Bitcoin transaction. And I can see that it's already paid, already available in my strike app, $50. It does say pending because it wasn't a lightning transaction. It was a regular Bitcoin transaction. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you are dealing with somebody that isn't using the lightning network yet, they can still send Bitcoin to this app, which again is instantly converted into dollars in your account. Regular Bitcoin transactions require what's known as a confirmation, which can take 10 minutes or more to officially be spendable, whereas a lightning transaction uh, is instantly available. You can instantly spend it. So as soon as this is confirmed officially on the Bitcoin network, then it will be spendable within my Strike app. Okay. So three different ways to receive with Strike via a request from somebody here that you're interacting with through a peer on Strike, uh, via the Lightning Network, or via a regular on-chain Bitcoin transaction. If you would like to learn about Moon Wallet, the one that I utilized right here, I have a full tutorial on that and it is listed in the links down below. Let's learn how to send transactions out of strike now. Just a quick note here, it's a couple minutes later, I do have a notification, your request for $50 has been completed. And when I navigate back to strike, I can see the payment has come in and is now green, it's no longer grayed out, that means it is now spendable, it is now reflected in my balance, which just moved up. So we're now going to take a look at three different ways to send funds from my strike account to somebody else. So the first way we're gonna do this, again, just from the home screen, we're gonna hit pay. And first I'd like to show you how to pay somebody that's already on strike. All right, now before I sent a request to my friend Brecky, uh, maybe I'll send him a payment too, just to entice him to pay that request. So uh, I'm gonna search him up one more time. I haven't sent him a, a transaction yet, so he wasn't in my list of contacts, but I'll, I'll pull him up here. And then I'll just say test transaction. Okay, great. And let's send him again five cents. I'll hit next. I get to review my transaction. Does that look good? That's who it's going to. Yep, yeah, that looks great. I'll hit confirm. And great. All done. Sent. He has now received five cents from me. Perfect, and he's now listed actually in my context now that I've sent him uh, a transaction. Now let's say I want to send money to a Bitcoin wallet. So when I just sent money to Brecky here, that was in dollars, or rather cents, I guess. I sent him five cents and that stayed as US dollars as that transaction happened. There was no conversion between dollars and Bitcoin. However, if I want to pay somebody in Bitcoin or if I don't want to hold dollars, I'd rather hold Bitcoin myself, I can send directly to a Bitcoin wallet. So the example we'll use here is the Moon Wallet 
<laughs> and there's Brecky asking if, if I'm playing around with strike. I sure am, dude. <laughs> so uh, let's go over to Moon Wallet, the one that we were using before. And let's first do a lightning transaction. Now, again, if you want to check out Moon, I do have that full uh, tutorial and no, there's no need to sign up for anything. This is another free app that you can utilize if you want to use Bitcoin. But um, I'm going to hit receive here in Moon. And again, it shows me two different ways to receive Bitcoin or lightning. Again, lightning better for smaller transactions. Bitcoin main chain probably better for larger transactions. Okay, so let's do a lightning transaction down at the bottom. There's invoice settings where I can choose how much I'd like to receive. And let's just do, let's see, uh, let's do 50 cents. Okay, 0 0.50. Okay, 50 cents. So this creates what's known as a lightning invoice, which I can then hit the copy button. And that's all I need. Now, if you're in front of somebody who has a Bitcoin Lightning wallet, you can actually scan this QR code from the Strike app. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's jump back to Strike. We're going to hit Pay. Now, instead of going to our, our contacts here, we're going to go up to the little QR code in the top right. So this is what I was saying. If you were standing in front of somebody and they had that app open, you could just scan the QR code here. Or you can hit the paste button if, you'd if you've copied information or had it texted to you. You hit paste. And it brings up all of the digits that I just copied from that other app. And it's going to say exactly how much I'm sending this person. Okay, so it's going to cost me an extra penny to send that 50 cents. That's pretty reasonable, I would say. So it says, do you want to send 50 cents to this invoice? I'm going to hit confirm. Okay, great. Turns white. It's all done. Now let's jump back to Moon. Put in the pin really quick. And if I jump back, I can see I get a notification for a new transaction. If I press the up button, it says that I was paid just now from the Lightning Network. So we know that that transaction went through. Fantastic. So we can also pay a regular Bitcoin transaction on the main chain. Okay, so not Lightning Network, but regular Bitcoin. Let's jump back to Moon one more time. Put in our pin and let's hit receive. And we're gonna use Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is highlighted here. We're not using Lightning Network. Um, and I'm not even gonna add a, an amount, okay? I'm just gonna use the address here. You can send any amount to this. Um, we're just going to jump back to uh, all I needed to do was hit copy here to copy this Bitcoin address. And I'm going to hit pay and strike. We'll go to the little QR code in the top right. Same thing as before. I could physically scan that QR code uh, or I can paste the information that I just copied. So I'm going to paste it. And then it asks me how much do I want to send this person? Okay. So since it's a an on-chain Bitcoin transaction. We're not using the Lightning Network for kind of faster, cheaper. Um, I'm going to put in an amount. Let's say we'll send $25 here. Okay, I think that should be reasonable today. We'll hit next. Okay, so it says, hey, you're going to be sending $25 to this Bitcoin address and there's going to be a $1.27 fee. Now, it's important to note, this is not a fee that gets paid to strike. The Bitcoin on-chain transactions, are they do carry fees, um, which are paid to what are known as Bitcoin miners. These are people that expend a lot of energy basically securing the Bitcoin network so that you know your transactions will not be reversed. Okay, so this is a Bitcoin transaction fee, which largely uh, do not apply to the Lightning Network or they're so minimal that it's fractions of a penny that you're paying. So only do on-chain transactions here if you need to, if it's a higher amount and, uh, you know, $25 a, a dollar fee. I can handle that. I can stomach that. So I'm going to hit confirm. Oh, <laughs> the payment expired. Hold on a second here.
Okay, so I'm gonna hit confirm. All right, and so this sent a main chain fee with uh, a, a main chain transaction with a dollar twenty fee to cover the mining fees for securing the Bitcoin network. I'm okay with that. I hit done, and let's just jump over the moon here and see what that shows up as. Back out. Okay, so in Moon here, it says there's a little clock here, and that's because I've received an on-chain transaction for around 25 bucks. Of course, this is calculating it in Satoshis, which is, uh, there's 100 million Satoshis in a single Bitcoin, but it says it's confirming. So I'm waiting for a confirmation on the Bitcoin network. Within about 10 minutes, that should be spendable from my Moon wallet. So I was able to successfully send funds out of my Strike account three different ways. One was to another Strike user. Two was to a Lightning Network invoice. And three was to a regular Bitcoin address. So you can interact with this many different ways, send and receive many different ways. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is the tip page which you can use to receive any amount from any person at any time without having to manually request funds and this is really really cool i utilize this i've been using this a bunch in the past week so if you just navigate down at the bottom to the right here your profile page you're going to see uh, your profile, your username, and down below there's a little URL that says strike.me slash whatever your username is. If you actually click on that, there's a page that can be accessed on mobile or on a browser, whatever, and this is your tip page. You can send a tip to anybody that has a Strike account via the Lightning Network or via Strike very, very easily. So I'll just show a quick example. Let's say I wanted to send a tip to somebody for $5 and I was on their strike uh, tip page. Very simple. I type in the amount I want to send. I hit the tip button and then I get this lightning invoice uh, that can then be sent to very simple. Simply, I can hit copy. I'm going to jump over to moon really quick. It's funny. I'm tipping myself. Um, I'm going to hit send. I'm going to paste in that invoice that I just copied. I could, of course, scan it instead. I'm just going to hit send. And that gets sent off. And I can see it just went through as a tip on strike. And then it refreshes back to normal. If I jump back into the app, I can see, hey, I just received a payment for five bucks, a strike tip. Cool. So anybody can do this if you have a strike account and then you can refer people to your strike uh, tip page strike.me slash username. Awesome. Just one final note here because I've getting, uh, been getting a lot of different questions about can you use this app to actually buy and sell Bitcoin? And the answer is absolutely yes. The flow of it would effectively be if you have a bank account linked to your strike account you fund strike with your bank account. You will then have dollars in strike. You then simply send a transaction from strike to any Bitcoin wallet that you own. Because at that point, you're taking dollars from your bank account into strike and it instant converts them into Bitcoin and sends it to a wallet that you yourself hold. So you're effectively buying Bitcoin with that flow and the the uh, actual fees are effectively zero, okay? Very, very low. Uh, on the other side of things, if you also have a bank account linked, you can sell Bitcoin by sending Bitcoin to Strike and then using Strike to withdraw to your bank account via your profile page. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps any of you looking to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please do remember to hit like, subscribe, and share. All of those things really do help get this content in front of more eyeballs. If you want to help out the show in another way, you can always hit up any of the previously mentioned sponsors in the show notes down below. And if you really liked what you saw, you can of course drop me a tip via my strike page, which is strike.me slash BTC sessions. With that, I am out. Have yourselves a wonderful day or evening wherever you may be. And I'll see you guys next time for your daily session.
Bitcoin.